<laughs> uh, oh, predictions. Yes, thank you very much. Um, I just said that, bro. I know you did. You know what? Like, I nah. Was, I was looking, nah. looking at that. Don't talk to me. I bet. My bad, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you always. I keep typing <laughs> to call because you do that off. All right. Yeah, game yeah, number yeah. one here. Bands versus Sage coming up for loser semis. Are you guys uh, ready for this? I don't think these two have ever fought. And if they did, it was at the first time that... Um, at the New York City invaded? No, so uh, that was the first time that Bands came out because Bands has come out two separate times, not at the same time as the rest of the New York players. Oh, uh, it's been it there. Yeah, Bands and uh, Kairos come like they're like one wave, and the other wave is like Bugs V, No Cash, Key Wonder, and all of them. But uh, that's the squad. But Bands uh, having to go against Sage, if this is the first time, we always say it, usually the first time we fight Sage is an L. However, Bands is one of the best people at adapting game two. We mentioned this all tournament. We mentioned this earlier against Paradox too, which what happened, he brought it all the way to game three. Uh, but he ended up getting knocked out really early game three and it kind of took the steam out of him. Sage can do a similar thing with LeBron's kill power, but I... Sage has also fought, like you said, two other Rick players prior to this. So he's pretty yes. warmed up for the matchup. That's, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Right now, I feel like Bands got to be the one to show that a Rick could go against this LeBron right here and win. He got to be the one. Because if it wasn't me, it wasn't they, it got to be him. Oh, he's burned I, pretty much everything. Oh, that oh. late hit of the clap. His stall uh -oh. game is so good. Oh, he tried to get I'm him. i he went for that. Dude, that panic side attack on stage to stop him from dunking last second was so good. That's why he needed yeah. to do it because he would have died and he dies there. Oh, they did fight last time. It was really close, but a dunk secured the dub for Sage. You're right. You're I right. I remember this. Oh, well, oh, Sage, uh, forgetting how many yeah. resources he had or something. but he was like, just I feel like he could have nared, though. He said it with his chest, and then he just fell. <laughs> <laughs> so. He did do that against me, too, a couple times. So oh. I hope that doesn't tie into his I game I think that right happened now. as well against Paradox at least one time as well. So he's going to have to rebound off of those because Vance is the one that you should, you can afford to give those two. Vance is too good at racking up damage quickly, like what we're seeing right now. He's at 73 already. That is true, yes. But see, one thing, I wonder if Sage can take the little mini blasters and put it to his ability for the little defense. Well, he already has. Uh, light, for the little ones? Yeah, light lasers give what? him uh, give him the basketball. Wow. Yeah, he's, he's, been, he's been doing that repeatedly. Uh-oh. That's something you got to watch out for, you know? You got me. See what what I did here? Yeah, that's exactly what I was about to say. Yeah. That's what I did. But then he kept doing yeah, the that reflectors, too. Yeah, the he can take it right back. It doesn't matter to him. But um, also another thing you have to be very careful of in this matchup is although the damage can get applied very quick, LeBron is heavy, yes. so eventually the combos will start to end. But for LeBron, his KO power is significantly stronger than Rick's 90% of the time. So he just needs to find one opener like this Ooh. as he tries to dunk him. He just misses. Bro, that Sage with little I love combos, when he does bro. that. Dude. Yeah, bro. Like, Oh, oh, that's going to be it off the... Oh, wow, he's alive. Wow, I, I'm so, the, the fact, <gasps> oh, but the oh, clap, so... Wow. Ah, I seen Bands was trying to make a 200 IQ play. He shot the laser into the portal down below I saw so that. he hit him from behind. But, but he was not yeah. ready for the slaps uh, to low profile <laughs> it. Like, he's he's been getting so good at landing that. He did it to Retro earlier. Yeah. He actually won a game against Bugsby as well uh, with Doing when that? he did Harley on Tree Fort. Oh. That same fa uh, fashion. He's been using it better. But now he's building on this lead. He almost caught him with the dodge in with that dunk. And uh, Bands has to be very careful about, like, trying to find it. But the dare that does dare. find it. Okay, okay. One thing. What was I going to say? Oh, yeah. With LeBron, like, you could just throw the ball. And once you see, like, Rick throw his, bla her, his blasters or the Mises towards you, he can just automatically take it back. Yeah. He just turns it in the head. So yeah. it's, it's risky to, like, it just depends on whether anything. it depends on whether Sage wants to use that opportunity to rush in, pass your light laser, or get the ball to try and fight back with Sage. So, ooh, like he's, he wants it. He's already shown he's he, he could get those combos again today. He got he got a couple earlier. Mm -hmm. He got one on twenty uh, earlier on Rain Dog. So, uh, Bands has got to be careful, especially around that platform. Ooh, ooh, he doubled it. I didn't even know that was a thing. You know who's going to go do that? Yeah, I know. You're, <laughs> yeah. about, you're about to lab that I'm immediately like, yes, after this. Bro, he what? tried to find another one there, too. It's been such a consistent uh, way to find up airs. That dunk that, might be yeah. enough, and it is going to be enough. <laughs> you already know. He's, he, he died by that last time. You know who Bands immediately looked to after that happened? Retro. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, Retro you know what? Enough of that, bro. Hey, you know what? You were right, bro. <laughs> you were right, bro. <laughs> even oh even the, imagine, like, because they're running this back. Yeah. And he got 
close. And he got dunked right from where he's behind. Here's the other um extremely uh stressful thing that's looming right now. For Chavo, mm. he he he's got a losing record against Sage. Chavo is playing very well today. But uh if Sage wins this, then Chavo is sitting there looking at this going, damn, that might be stress nah, too. I no, Sibo, that's true. But he gotta keep that winning mentality. Yeah, I will say <laughs> though, good. Uh, Bands has a pretty good shot to get into Grands if he gets past him. Not that Ch Chavo's playing phenomenally, but he also plays against Gopo, like every every week. time. Yeah, and those two, uh, they they actually every night too, they, they practice yes. a ton. Yes, there's there's clips of them playing against each yeah, other. He like... has some insane off stage gameplay yes, against Gopo. So he does. Uh, and that, but we'll see if he can get through Sage first. Sage is that wall that happens to a lot of players when they get out here. This is LeBron excellence right now. And that was the wrong stage. That's why that yes. happened. They are going to go to Ooh. Sky Arena No Blats. What Imagine do you think about this counter pick? See, Definitely better than it Fort. It is difficult to knock Sage from above, though, mm -hmm. because he's a heavy character. I think in this matchup, you need to aim low, though. I think you need to force uh, I need, you need to force him to go low, find your spikes. Even with Sage's really good stall game, you have to find a way around that. Yes. Ooh. See, it, it's so scary having... Okay, okay. Oh, I knew he was going to do that, but I thought it was going to... If it hit, I'm wondering if he was going to do a double. That's his first time we saw today that he did a double me six, neutral me six in the air. And it threw me off. I feel like that ball would have been down the other way. He would have got spiked. But thank thankfully, he didn't right there. I feel like, like going back to what you said, instead of like going for kills from above, he needs to look for more stairs or like you said, get a spike. Any spike possible. If you can find one, that's 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 yep. a guaranteed dub in your book right there. Yeah, that's that's the biggest game plan here. Is you also it does open up your uh, your survivability off, off the top a little bit for bands here too. However, LeBron doesn't really care too much about that because he's still gonna like you just you go from 98 to about 105 to 10 ish where that should knock out unless you have bad KBI, which he usually gets a good cross up on anyways. That's true. See, right now bands just holding the charge laser a he's little bit just back. so it could put a little he is, damage. He is, he is hiding as he's he looking properly for should. Too, yeah. It's like, let me catch let me catch Sage with a good mistake. He See, this is what I'm talking about. The portal control on the left side of the stage, he had to be forced to move to the right side of the stage. It, it's stage control right there, which yeah. is really good what Ban does with his portals. But then again, he got Sage in his defense. Yeah. He can like, take anything. Like we said, in, in Ban's game two is a very different player compared to when you will fight him game one. Oh, wow. oh my oh. God. Oh what is that? <laughs> I didn't know what he was cooking there, I thought, but that was so cool. So, okay, what I do is I do that, but then I do it up so I can jump into Sayer. But that, that was brain meat that right was there. That was amazing. amazing. I love what I love that. It scares you, too, because you don't know you what to do. What, yeah, and you think that's going to do nothing. Like, it's a golf meat, you know? Uh, oh, of course, this is uh, 127. One, one good hit away from being a knockout onto, uh, onto Rick. So, LeBron, uh, Sage is looking for that mistake right now. But uh, for bands, this is uh, slow build time. Build up that damage. Got another 57 already. You see how Sage went to him due to being in between the portals. That laser coming in at the last second. It doesn't that follow the me. second dunk, but uh, he was able to stop at least the first one. Mm -hmm. See that ball just bouncing like in the middle is scary because like then again, Sage can also take stage control with yep. the ball bouncing as well. I just realized how much like more, how much different uh, in approach LeBron has to take to finding KOs now too. Because before he used to have unarmed Nair into up air, which yeah. is a true combo, but that got taken away. Wait, and, what? Yeah, the, the, LeBron Nair. Yeah, and up the air? unarmed Nair and up air does not work uh, what? Yeah, for the. Uh, for, that's why you don't do it anymore. Like, it pushes no you far way. away. It pushes you horizontal now. I was wondering why I wasn't working when I was just messing with LeBron, but like, yeah. So that has forced him to go like way more dunk approach. Yeah. And uh, trying to find straight hit like knockouts, but uh, for bands, you kind of take advantage of that because you force him to have to go into this dunk mode so he can find a knockout, and he's building up damage once again with 113 per, uh, damage lead by comparison. That, I can't believe that just got taken away, but now I see what you mean there, how, like, Sage is playing a different from getting away from theirs. And he's also looking, at, like, down air is really good, because then again, like, he has the up attack, uh, forward air, and down air to get the ball back. Unless he just neutrals right there and gets the ball back like that. But look at this. Look at this. See, this Dude. is what I'm talking about with the portal controlling. I'm surprised he stage, even tried to bro. fight that. Like, he, like it gets scary yeah, at the point where you can't do that. Giant me seeks, but also you just get pushed <laughs> away. It's, it, it's risky, bro. And Bands building up on this damage lead. Catch him with an anti air, forces him to have to dodge. Nothing really comes up in there. But Bands, oh, never mind. He got caught slipping. Yeah. And he tried to get out of there with the, uh, actually, I thought he was looking for the side special. But catches him off the top. So now, even game once again. 
I knew he was going to do that. And good good eye from Sage, knowing that he was going to do that as well, using the rocket as an advantage to just take ball back. We were talking about it with the Daquan match, too. Every time Daquan went to finish it, he always got the defense out. He mm -hmm. knows it's not true. So it's just an instant reaction, stops that giant projectile from setting up something worse. And uh, it's just good awareness by Sage. But this has uh, been in band control this entire time prior to that knockout off the top. And it's still in his, uh, his, like, it's still in his control right now. I feel like also, ooh, see, now he's at the right side, and this is a spot you do not want to be in right now because look at all this control he has right now. Yeah, like, good God. thing, good patience on Sage right there because literally anything could have converted into a kill. Yeah, big time agree. He, like, he's, he's trying to force, he's actually, I think he's hunting for fart bomb because he tried to go for it on the right, and I think he's trying to condition him into this idea that he could safely land and then go for it. But he goes out there with the Sarah, doesn't lead to anything. At least he's okay on stage, though. I, does, I wonder if forward tilt to fart bomb connects. Maybe a dodge forward as well. Possibly, but uh, it's, uh, it's probably on a dodge read, yeah. But here goes that same setup. And yeah, Sarah, Sarah just by itself yeah. actually just knocks out. So, fans, see, yeah, forcing that game three. With that map, like we were saying, it makes sense I thought map. it was, yeah. I thought it was going to be a little difficult, but... Looked like he had that one very under control right there. Yeah, and look at Bands here. He's trying to, once again, like, he's trying to show that that last time he came out where he got fifth was yes. a fluke. That was not the real deal. That's not the Bands that you were expecting to see. If y'all heard Bands today, yep. he and, wants it. And this man just drove out, like, like two to th three hours Yo, to get out here tweaking. through the rain and everything. Because mm -hmm. no Zeddy this week. Try to get another dub. Try to get some more games in. And also... He wants to show everybody how good he is. And it's looking like he's got it. But we're oh. going to see. I like this counterpick. I like this counterpick because this. For Rick or LeBron? For LeBron. Because That's what I was, yeah. this gives him survivability off the top uh, the same way. It gives him new ways to get around all of the zoning. But also, now all of a sudden, those two stationary platforms have become brand new KO options for Dunk. So you have to be super careful. You have to fight center almost exclusively. And if you do that, you're playing in the LeBron's hands because you want to zone. See, one thing, if you throw a portal and you put a Golf Me Seeks at the end of the Golf Me Seeks attack, it goes through the portal. And he, he kind of get me with that, and I got really confused. And I was like, what? And he was like, yeah, after the, right here, how the Golf Me Seeks is going to finish, it jumps right through the portal. And I was like, wow. It's like, good to know, you know? But I feel like the platforms here is going to be really big for yep. Bands. I think that's why Bands is setting it up the way he is. Yeah, he's look at him. Right he's there. trying to take away. He, he he got up there quickly, though, to steal that. To yeah, get the I was going to say that, yeah. But he's trying to take away that win condition from Sage. He doesn't want him to feel comfortable playing on the platforms because you, you have to. Mm -hmm. You have to stop Sage from ever feeling comfortable that he could use those against you. Uh-oh. One thing that I did find out last stock going against Sage, when you, you can mini blaster the... Um, LeBron's balls mm -hmm. and it it like throws it away type like for an example how if you shoot Morty's uh, bombs it just explodes for the ball it bounces it away like as if it hit a platform or a wall and that's that's feel like something he I, I don't know if he does know but hopefully he finds out sooner or later you know because yep. it could work to his kid oh Ooh, my god that, that was, was so fright that was if you don't instantly get on stage there you're getting yeah. hit to that me six that was a really good attempt Forces him, uh, covers him with the dodge in, and tries to go for the spike, but that LeBron was right on cue. See, one thing, uh, whatchamacallit, about me seeks is that his hands are the only, what, that was a weird portal right there, but his, I think that was a mistake. Yeah. Uh, I, I, that, I think well, actually, I don't yeah, think I don't that know. was a mistake. I don't think he meant to do that, but it just, I don't know. Yeah. So, um, me seeks hands is his only hitbox. Like, yeah. as Morty, you could just duck under it. And stuff like that. Yeah, you literally use the, we, as we've learned, you can plumbus directly underneath it. It's actually yes. pretty funny. But, um, <laughs> that dunk's going to miss. Yeah, he's this, looking it, for He's it. at he KO percents right now. And you like, look at Bands. He's trying to bait him into doing it and catching him with a stair. Uh, mixing it up with the downer instead so he can try and find something. The dunk Ooh, will not find his mark. Too. And there he goes. That dare right there. That takes it. Now, he takes a platform he one, takes but it back he gets it right back. Yeah. Tied game now. How many games? How many games are we going to get that are going to go to game three like this situation? That did. Oh, my nice God. conversion. I like that. And he's trying to cover the dodge like with the up attack, too. Mm -hmm. He was ready. I feel like Sage right now, he just needs to look for something in order to get his ball back, whether it's a blaster or me seeks, just something. I think that's why uh, Bands has been going more hitbox heavy on him. He's kind of. Right here. This guy. Like, oh, wow. I thought he's going to take it there, but he did have to move. Ooh. Oh, he tried to read it with the little three. If he if he KDI'd that way, I feel like he would have he would have read it. 
nice, nice. Oh, the little sage ladders with the up here, they're so satisfying. Bands is playing so well right now. He's controlling, he's dominating center stage. Uh, he is preventing any big jump nice. in openers from Sage. He's building up the damage right now. Mesix is in the way, so he's gotta just wait. He tried to catch him on defense, yeah. but Bands just waited for it too. I like the way Sage is playing right now because he's playing very smart. Whether like if he just plops a Meeseeks right there on the ground, he stands at it and just holds defense. Because if it moves, it's automatically his ball now. Yeah. Remember, this is a night where Sage finally got to be uh, seed number one. He has already fallen to Paradox earlier. He's looking like that's starting to climb in that favor of Bands too. The thing is, is that Bands is starting to fall out of those lower percents where he can afford to like keep hitting him with straight hits. He's got to move in eventually. Mm -hmm. And that's what Sage is trying to force him to do, but look how Banj is just saying, no, not at all. I I, I you, I will get you one of these dares again. But that dunk misses. It wouldn't have killed, but he was building up damage fast. Oh, wow. He went through the platform, so the, the he got the hitbox on the first dunk, mm -hmm. but then he landed on the platform and he went through it, so the full dunk didn't connect. Is he going to up? Is he going to three? Oh, nah. I, for a second, <laughs> I thought he might, but because of the teleport, you don't know exactly yeah. where they might land, so it's good to kind of wait. But Bant immediately swinging this time, sending him down with two. Oh, oh. he tried to do another Meeseeks play with that. And that would have knocked I was him off, talking too. about, yeah. Uh, I don't know if he had the great health fast enough, but that the Sarah Sarah, will take yep. it. That puts Bant in the lead. Sage answered right back last time. Not going to do it that time with the dunk. dunk. Yeah, it gets scary is when he spawns, he just runs after you. Yeah, he tries to dunk. You're in a mini game of running for him for a second to <laughs> hopefully not get knocked out. Puts out the golf club uh, to make sure he can't just toss the ball like outright. And Vance is trying his best to make sure that Sage does not get this dunk. He does not get a knockout off the top, potentially off of an up air, and just play grounded. Force him to approach, play anti air heavy to make sure that he gets any dare starters. I feel like he just needs to play as. The double. Ooh, I'm surprised he didn't up here right there, but I feel like he knew that Sage was going to. Uh, I think it was a, a moment of like, I don't want to overextend. Yeah. Like, I, I just want to keep building. Just get his little hits in and then back away. Like, that's what he's he's trying to do right now. Because you don't want to fish or anything crazy, get too greedy, mm -hmm. where that end up you losing a whole stock. Oh my God. Bands is like, Bands sees the win condition and says no. Like, you, you, he's just not letting him have it. And it's now 1 minute and 50 seconds on the clock, by the way. This is not. It's not hard for us to believe. That shoulder, shoulder charge will come into last stock. Game three. Once again, I don't know how many times I have to say this tonight, but here we go. This is, but uh, well, next after this is only best of fives, but this is on stage to try and make a big comeback, Ooh. and he's starting to do right now. You could tell, bro. That like, I'm surprised he went in there with the golf me. He's sitting there. I thought Ooh. the golf was about to swing. Oh, also, you you know when he wanted to go to. to through the platform so he can shoot it through yep. a little laser. Now, this is something that uh, does go under the radar sometimes when you talk about uh, how close it matches. When you're in last stock situation, mm -hmm. all that zoning you were doing before becomes way more stressful. Because yes. every time you get hit, you assume you've made a giant mistake. You let them in somehow. And you gotta uh, like be able to respawn uh, like past that. That was such a good was, idea yeah. though. He made it look like he could punish him and then set up the teleport. He didn't fall for and it. That was really good. That. This is 55. And counting. Remember the person with the most damage at the end will oh, no. win. You don't want to get caught yeah. in his up here. Oh, that dunk. He that just got out Absolutely would have been it. But he does not have basketball available to right now. Uh, uh, 40 seconds on the clock. Bands does have damage advantage at the moment. He's trying to slowly build up laser so he could do that. That's going to force Sage's hand to have to find a knockout. Unless he finds a combo string. If LeBron just hits. Oh, right there. If he hits a dunk like that, oh. it's over. Oh, for soon, go low. 20 seconds on the clock. And he, he got spikes buddy up B. And Bands takes him. getting his rematch. Falls too far. Falls below the stage. Definitely didn't want to go below, but that does not matter. That is instead going to... Paradox, where are you going? That is instead going to be Sage falling here at fourth place. Round going of down. applause. Well done to, uh, well done to, to Sage Bands. and Bands. Guaranteed top three and also, you got to say it. Sage. Look, I meant Bands. You did it.